Intricate and lacy designs etched in frost on the window panes frame a scene rendered in shades of gray, of horses in a snowstorm, as the winter sun rises just a bright spot in a lead-colored sky. In the sheep's pen, the sweet smell of hay and grain scent the warmer air of the cozy straw-filled shelter, and on the roost, in the chicken coop, the hens take turns being in the middle and warmed on both sides by the other hens. Inside, the fire is kindled early and every minute of daylight is used to advantage. With the gardens resting in the frozen ground beneath the snow, daily activity is turned inward. Creativity flows in the silent snowy days of winter, and ideas for projects to be carried out in times of greater light and warmth begin to take form. As the sun climbs higher in the sky and begins to break through the clouds, the snow tapers to flurries, and droplets of it, melted, flash like beads of crystal hung from every branch and twig. On the downspout above the rain barrel, a brilliant drop hovers for a moment, flashing colors of the rainbow as an icicle begins to form. The dark curtain of the winter night descends early, and we gather by the fire's glow after dinner to discuss the events of the day and to plan tomorrows. The pungent smell of simmering herbs and warm, wet wool wafts through the house as another skein of hand-spun yarn is dyed, and the results are admired and hung to dry. When the fire has died down and the embers have been banked, we climb the stairs to the warmth of camphor-scented quilts, while outside on this frosty winter night, beneath her quilt of purest white, the Earth Mother has been visited by the Spirit Father as she slept, and even now, new life begins to stir in her. Late in January, as the wolf moon wanes or the chaste moon waxes to full, we begin to prepare for the embalk sabbat. Since Lama's, the corn mother, which presided over the Lama's feast, has rested in silence and darkness in a cedar chest in the attic. The corn mother is a physical representation of the goddess, and while it rested, the goddess herself went to the land of spirit, or Avalon or Anwen, where she rested and regained her youth. Now she is the maiden again. So the same figure made of wheat or oats or corn that represented the corn mother at Lamas now represents the corn maiden. Lamas and Imbolc stand opposite one another across the wheel of the year like two sides of the same coin. 